What do you think happens when your beard hair gets plucked? I found a 2015 study that was actually counterintuitive to what I thought in the past. In the past, I thought that if you plucked your beard hair, that it would end up getting thinner. You would damage the roots. But this study in 2015 from Dundee University says that plucking hair can actually increase hair growth. Now, the thing is, is this was only in mice and it was about head hair as well. So it hasn't been replicated on the beard, but it's interesting because what they did is they plucked beard hairs in a kind of dense area. And they found that if you pluck enough beard hairs in a small area, it actually sends a distress signal to the hair follicles around it, which can increase the amount of hair growth. Now that was interesting to me because I always think of beard hairs as like individual units, like they don't communicate with each other. But here, the study suggests that there's potentially a communication pathway and they call this quorum sensing. Quorum sensing is when you pluck something and it sends a signal to the hair follicles nearby and says, hey, hey, actually you should grow more hairs because we're losing hair. Now mice to animal studies have got like a pretty bad replication rate, but it is interesting that there may be a pathway in mammals that actually stimulates growth through plucking. And so they found that the plucking had to be in a high density. So uh, this is why it maybe doesn't work on balding men like myself because I don't have high hair density here. So if I started plucking, it wouldn't sort of have enough power um, to communicate with hairs around it because the hair follicles are already dead. Um, and so, yeah, you know, that could be an issue. But on my beard, it could be that actually plucking in a small area could increase. And they found that if they plucked 200 hairs in a small area, it actually resulted in 1,200 hairs being produced. So 1,000 more hairs than they plucked. Now that is pretty interesting. So let's have a look at a little bit more science and what actually happens when you pluck your beard hair. And my experience, and probably why it's not such a great idea to do it. If you like this video, go check out beardgrowingpro.com. I have an article on this exact subject that has all of the links to all of the studies and tips and more. So go check it out because beardgrowingpro.com is a super valuable resource. I have written over 200 articles and growing about all your beard problems. So go check it out. There are three major things that can happen when you pluck your beard hair. Firstly, is that it will pluck and remove the root. Now this is interesting because if you pluck it and remove the root without any damage, then you uh, you force the hair into kind of a resting cycle, the hair follicle into a resting cycle. So this is why you see, um, you know, if you wax uh, legs or other parts of your body, you'll notice that, you know, it takes a while to recover. And so uh, it takes about two to four weeks for the hair follicle to, to kind of come out of this resting phase and start growing again. So that's what can happen if you're lucky plucking out a beard hair will remove the hair bulb from the hair follicle and you'll just have to wait two to four weeks for it to grow. And if you're lucky, based on the science as well, it may stimulate a little bit of growth around it, but only if you pluck in high density, which I don't really recommend you do because since 2015, there hasn't really been any extra um, studies on this. Okay, the second thing it can do, and this is something that happens a lot, I think. So uh, beard hairs are very securely anchored into the face. If you want to know what happens to beard hairs when they're not securely anchored, go check out my last week's video because uh, yeah, it's got everything that you need to avoid to stop hairs essentially being ripped out from your face. Um, but yeah, plucking and having it sort of like snap at the root is one of the most common things because it is very, very securely fastened into your face and twisting actions can damage the bulb and actually cause it to be removed easier. But if you just tug and pull, it doesn't really come out too easily. And if you just plug it, uh, pull it and it snaps off at the surface of the skin, it will grow like as if you've shaved. So uh, I don't recommend people plucking. My friend used to pluck his entire mustache when we were younger and uh, he would really struggle with getting the uh, the hairs to remove from the, from the actual kind of root. And so he'd end up with what was essentially a painful way to shave, um, yeah, which isn't ideal. So that that's the second thing that can happen. The third thing that can happen is that you can actually damage the hair follicle. And this is why plucking isn't such a good thing if you wanna stimulate growth, despite what the 2015 study kind of started to allude to. Um, there's a number of ways your hair follicle can get damaged. Now, 
where if you pluck and there's blood, immediately you know that you've kind of, you know, ruptured a, a small follicle, a small uh, capillary or something at the base of the follicle, and that can actually cause it to not regenerate as quickly or at all. And so you've seen uh, waxing, and, and electrolysis, um, this is you know something that's pretty mature now for people that want to remove uh, hair on certain parts of their body. But if you wax continuously, the hair gets lighter, it gets thinner, and that's because you just keep on removing the bulb and you potentially cause damage to the uh, hair follicle. You also risk distorting the hair follicle. So when you rip it out, it can actually kind of distort it. So you, instead of a nice kind of circular thing, it can just kind of like cause it to grow weak and the problem is a distorted hair follicle means when the beard grows that the hair also is extra wavy, kinky, curly, and so it can actually have an effect on the hair that's growing out of your face. There was a study that was done that if a hair grows directly out, it seems to be straight. Any hair follicles that sort of like grow to the side of your face actually create curly hair. So you can actually influence the uh, type of hairs that are grown from your face. You can also get infections, which isn't good. You know, if you're not plucking your beard hairs, in a, uh, in a kind of sterile environment, then you can introduce infections and you can also get ingrown hairs, the dreaded ingrown hairs, where it doesn't burst out of the skin, but instead it grows under the skin and curls around, you end up with a bump, you end up with uh, little pimples and all of that redness, which is absolutely horrible. African heritage skin seems to be more prone to the bumps that are caused, um, you know, uh, pseudo folliculitis barbe, um, where you all of the hairs grow underneath and uh, yes it can be really really painful really sore and really damaging so we want to stay away from ingrown hairs and plucking can snap it off and cause it to kind of grow under the skin just like shaving so beard hair can grow back if it is plucked. If it is plucked regularly, it ends up that there's more chances that you're gonna damage the hair follicle and therefore the hair's gonna be different, lighter, or not grow at all. And so the more you pluck, the more likely that you're gonna damage and the less likely the hair will grow. But the odd plucking isn't gonna to matter too much. Now, if you're pulling at your beard and you're noticing that it's coming out quite a lot, that could be something else. It's not necessarily plucking, but rather the hair's not uh, staying in the growth phase for as long Long as they should. So um, yes, beard, beard hairs will grow back if plucked, and if you only do it once or twice, no big deal. But just avoid, if you want to grow a big thick beard, avoid plucking it regularly. Uh, despite what the 2015 study said, it probably won't increase the density of your beard if you pluck a high density area. You know, in that study going from 200 to 1,200 hairs, I think is uh, something that only mice can do at the moment. Yes, it hasn't been replicated in animal or uh, human studies, it's only been in animal studies. All right then, that's what you need to know. Go check out the article if you want to know more about this subject and go check out beardgrowingpro.com because I have tons of articles helping you grow a much better, thicker, fuller beard. I've got all of the problems that you would face while growing a beard answered on that blog and it is growing at a rate of knots. So go check it out and I shall see you in the next video.